Okay. So, um, in the last class, we talked about the Schrodinger equation, which is written as I H bar partial over T psi X T equals minus H square over 2 M nebula square psi X T plus V X psi X T. Well, there's a saying that a, a woodcutter should spend more time in sharpening his axe than cutting the trees. And that's what we are trying to do here. Instead of directly jumping to quantum mechanics, we are going to develop and understand some tools which will be very useful in solving problems in quantum mechanics. Now, looking at this um, equation here, and um, we will encounter cases like harmonic oscillator, quantum harmonic oscillator or hydrogen atom well in this case we know that Vx is given or actually yeah is given as half kx square. In this case, vx is given as minus some constant k over r. So, um, the point is, um, using all these potentials, when we put them in, this equation actually um, for many cases assumes a form which looks something like this So for most of the examples we are going to discuss, uh, and this is a powerful theory, uh, for most of the examples we'll discuss, we'll see that all these kinds of potential, which we'll very often encounter, like potential because of harmonic oscillator, uh, simple um, Coulombic potential, and um, and then and there can be other cases, but all these potentials actually um, give us a, a differential equation, or this is a differential equation which looks which can be remodeled in this form and this particular equation is called the sturm liouville uh, equation and the theory behind this is called sturm liouville theory and in, for this particular equation px qx and wx are all greater than 0 they are continuous and well defined on the interval ab um, and what is, uh, well, W is called the weight here, and lambda is, is, is an eigen, eigenvalue of this equation. So with different lambdas, we actually get different um, y's, y is the independent, uh, is, is a dependent function. So for different lambdas, we get different y's, and, um, um, and, and these lambdas are actually called the eigenvalues. and the corresponding y are called eigenfunctions. And there's one good property these y's satisfy, these y they satisfy is So you see, uh, they are orthogonal with this weight, and um, it's now it's then then the, now with this kind of understanding that with a given potential, the Schrodinger equation sort of behaves uh, if it behaves like a, 
um, strand label system then the solution can be written as a linear combination solution for psi can be written as a linear combination of eigen functions which is nothing but the problem we have in uh, linear algebra if this is the system of equation where um, why um, if this is the system of equation then we know then actually sh I should write, write it just the other way around then we know that I can write well it doesn't make any difference I can write y as a linear combination of eigen vectors so this is nothing but um, uh, 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 some some uh, differential equations which have which which can be um, refashioned to um, take form of something called matrix mechanics and matrix mechanics also has other useful it is useful in other other um, areas also. But right now, the point is with this new uh, these eigenfunctions, which can be used to write solution for psi, the whole thing can be modeled to write in matrix forms. And uh, the reason we we invoke I mean I, I talked about the term level theory is because you will find many many cases um, while going through this quantum mechanical course or in fact through any book that uh, most of the time this equation can be remodeled to a Sturm level system which has unknown solutions in terms of the eigenfunctions yn and ym and the whole thing can be modeled in terms of matrix mechanics and the next topic is going to be matrix mechanics um, and uh, some other notations that we are going to use in uh, understanding and solving problems in quantum mechanics